ionic radius and trends of ionic radius in the periodic table before starting the lecture click on the subscribe button and get access to our hundred of unique and simple lectures for free now what is ionic radius well the distance between the nucleus and outermost valence shell of an ion is called ionic radius for example consider negative ion of sodium now this distance between the nucleus and outermost valence shell is called ionic radius of sodium we know that ion may be either cation or anion cation is a positive ion for example sodium ion anion is a negative ion for example chlorine ion Remember that metals form positive ion and non-metals form negative ion. Now let me teach you the concept of radius of cations or positive ions. For example, consider a neutral atom of sodium. We know that in neutral atom of sodium there are eleven protons and eleven electrons. Remember that there is always tug of war between protons and electrons. For example, this man is Mr. Proton and this man is Mr. Electron. Proton always pull the electrons towards the nucleus or in inward direction, while the electrons try to move away in outward direction. Now, in neutral sodium atom, there are eleven protons and eleven electrons. So they cancel the effect of each other, and electrons revolve at a suitable position around the nucleus. This sodium atom will lose one electron to get stability. After losing one electron, it is no more a neutral atom; rather, it is an ion. In sodium atom, there are three shells, while in sodium ion, there are only two shells due to losing one electron. There are eleven protons in the sodium ion and ten electrons in the sodium ion because it has lost one electron. Again, there is tug of war between protons and electrons. Here, Mr. Proton dominates Mr. Electron because there are eleven protons and ten electrons. So Mr. Proton win the game and pull the electrons towards the nucleus, and the size of sodium ion decreases. If we measure the atomic radius of sodium, it's about one hundred eighty-six picometer, while the ionic radius of sodium is about ninety-five picometer. Thus, we learn this fact that atomic radius is always bigger than radius of its cation. For example, the atomic radius of sodium is 186 picometer, and the atomic radius of sodium ion is about 95 picometer. Here is a bonus conceptual question: Why the size of cation is always smaller than its parent atom? I hope you know the answer. It is because the removal of one or more electrons from a neutral atom causes the loss of shell. Secondly, proton numbers dominate the number of electrons, and the greater nuclear attraction pull the electrons towards the nucleus. Now, let me teach you the concept of radius of ions, a radius of negative ions. For example, consider fluorine atom. We know that in neutral atom of fluorine, there are nine protons and nine electrons. We have learned in the previous slide that there is always tug of war between protons and electrons. For example, this is Mr. Proton and this is Mr. Electron. Protons pull the electrons in inward direction, and electrons tend to move in outward direction. Hence, there are nine protons and nine electrons, so the electrons revolve around the nucleus at suitable position. Fluorine is a non-metal. To get stability, fluorine atom will gain one more electron and become negative fluorine ion. Now, there are nine protons and ten electrons in the fluorine ion. Here the winner is Mr Electron because the number of electrons dominate the number of protons as a result of this 
electrons will move away in outward direction and the size of fluorine ion will become bigger. If we measure the atomic radius of a neutral fluorine atom, it is about 71 picometer and that of fluorine ion is about 136 picometer. Thus we learn this fact that atomic radius of neutral atom is smaller than ionic radius. For example, the atomic radius of fluorine is 71 picometer and the ionic radius of fluorine ion is about 119 picometer. Also, here is a bonus conceptual question for you. Why the ionic radii of negative ions are larger than the size of their parent atoms? I hope you know the answer. It is because one electron or more electrons are added to a neutral atom. As a result of this electronic addition, the number of electrons dominate the number of protons and the electrons in the shells are pushed away in outward direction. Thus, the ionic radius of negative ion is larger than the size of their parent atom. Finally, let me teach you the periodic trend of ionic radius and the periodic table like ionic radii down the groups. Or why ionic radii increases from top to bottom? Well, consider the ionic radii of first group elements like lithium ion, sodium ion and potassium ion. The ionic radius of lithium ion is 60 picometer, the ionic radius of sodium ion is 95 picometer and the ionic radius of potassium ion is 133 picometer. We can see that if you go down the group ionic radii increases. It is because down the group atomic number increases. Secondly, down the group number of shells also increases due to which shielding effect increases and it becomes difficult for the nucleus to pull the electrons with greater force. Thus noted down that atomic radii increases down the group. Lastly, periodic trend of ionic radii across the period or why atomic radii decreases from left to right in the periodic table. For example, consider elements of third period like sodium ion, magnesium ion, aluminium ion, phosphorus ion, sulfur ion and chlorine ion. The ionic radius of sodium is 95 picometer, the ionic radius of magnesium is 65 picometer, the ionic radius of aluminium is 15 picometer, the ionic radius of phosphorus is 195 picometer, the ionic radius of sulfur is 184 picometer and the ionic radius of chlorine is 181 picometer. These three ions are cations or positive ions, while these three ions are anions or negative ions. As we can see that from left to right ionic radii of cations decreases and then again the ionic radii of anions also decreases from left to right. Thus we say that ionic radii decreases across the period are from left to right in the periodic table. It is because the atomic number increases. Secondly, the number of shells remain constant. For instance, these all elements are present in the third period so they all have three shells. Therefore, note it down that atomic radii decreases across the period. I hope that you have learned all about ionic radius and trends of ionic radii and the periodic table.